Welcome to Australia in American Truck Simulator. This is the Australian Outback Map Mod. It brings a huge area of Queensland Outback to ATS. Today we're going to be driving around for the first time in this Volvo VNL, the latest generation. I really love the look of these things both inside and out. And here's the map. So the map is one to two scale. We're starting in Charleville, heading up to a place called Middle Station. Now this is the size of the map. It's pretty big. This map has been updated so much by the amazing mod creator called Rob. So then let's start this bad boy up. Oh yeah, right, lights on. And we've got to work our way out of this yard. So the first thing you'll notice about this map is the terrain surfaces. So it's designed to be really rough and realistic. The road surface will change a lot as we're driving around today. Now I'm using my Moza TSW truck wheel. You can see it down the bottom left of the screen. I'm really, really enjoying it. I've even fitted a little knob so I can very easily park with this wheel now. Let's head out of the gate. Pretty sharp corner here. Heading out into the Austra- Oh, we hit the gate. Okay, that is tight. We need to have another go at that. Right, we're gonna swing round in first gear. We're gonna do a big arc here. This should work if the turning circle's good enough. Yep. Swing left, I think. Oh, just made it through, nice. Okay, so into the outback. And the first thing you notice is these roads. This is literally a dirt path, but we do have road signage on here, so it must be used by trucks quite a bit. Now we have to drive on the left on this map. That's been all nicely simulated. There are custom AI vehicles driving around the kind of vehicles you'd expect to see in real life Australia. And just look at how rough this road is. That's amazing. Okay, first tarmac road, thank goodness. Let's make sure we stop and have a look for any traffic coming. So nothing to the right and nothing to the left. Let's go. We are in the middle of nowhere. I wouldn't expect too much traffic here. Out onto this bitumen road. And actually, it still feels quite rough. That's interesting how they've simulated a poor quality road surface. Today we're taking 18 tons of frozen food. This is not the most high spec VNL by any stretch. It's got quite a weak engine and only nine gears, but it's still a really nice truck. I love this interior. So I'm of course driving a left-hand drive truck on the left side. You can get right-hand drive truck mods for ATS. You can also get trailer mods that have been designed for this map, like livestock mods, livestock trailer mods that really add to the realism of your journeys. But there's a definite lack of traffic, right? It's pretty... Well, I'm, I'm basically alone here in the outback. It looks like we're entering a bit more of a busy road here. There are actually road markings on it. There's some cool vehicles driving around. Oh, I can't see... I can't see anything. Uh, how am I gonna... Okay, we're just gonna have to take a punt. We're just gonna have to... Nothing coming. Okay, we're good. All right. Wow, this is a long straight road here. Now, this map was paid in its early access, but it is now available for free. So if you haven't checked this map out, go and check it out from the links in the description. I really do recommend checking it out, and now it's free. I guess there's no reason not to. Oh, no, hold on. I found the 10th gear on this truck. There we go. That's much nicer. The engine was revving way too high earlier. So let's settle in for the cruise. Whoa, kangaroo! Oh! <gasps> uh Oh, did you see that? There was a kangaroo and it just went straight through the truck. Okay, that's interesting. So they've added some custom animals out into the game world. That was, wow, that was craziness. So this being a one to two scale map, that means that for every mile you drive in game, that's half a mile in real life. So a 30 minute journey should take about 15 minutes in this game. Uh, it is obviously real locations and all the distances are realistic to that one to two scale. There's so many custom assets in here as well. I think all these trees are custom. Definitely, I've not seen uh, sand color like this in the vanilla or DLC in ATS, which is really good to see. Yeah, they've created a good vibe here. It's very, very different to any of the American truck sim maps I've played before. Let's just hope we don't come across any other kangaroos running across the road. I mean, I've played quite a few ETS2 and ATS mods with animals in them. Uh, I remember one, there was like a rabbit running across the road on a Swiss mountain in, I think it was a TSM map, the Truck Sim, is it Truck Sim Pro map? 
I don't know what it was called, but that was a scary moment. And uh, I wasn't in first person, but if I was in first person, if I saw a kangaroo jump across, it would genuinely be scary in this game. Of course, we're stuck behind the world's only slow moving Ford Transit, but we're in a place called Ward's Landing. Looks quite nice. I don't really think there's anything here. There's a guy standing by. Oh, is it like a, is it a beauty spot? Oh yeah, look at this. A little stream, looks quite nice. I mean, what a wide open space this part of Australia is. Look at that. Just, all you can see is land, flat land and open sky. So what I'm gonna do is overtake this guy. Take this opportunity when there's no one around. There we go, home service. Well, not very quick home service. Overtake him, there we go, overtake him in a massive truck. I keep thinking I see animals, but uh, yeah, the mod creators that added all this Beautiful wildlife and cool spots. But what's that? Oh, it's just a stump of a tree. But yeah, cool like wildlife and landmarks to really accentuate the map. You know, this is realistic, but it's still a beautiful map. Euro Truck Simulator 2 has the Japan map. I think there's a China map too. Uh, and there's mods that go right across Russia into South Korea. Uh, Road to Asia is it, I think. And then the Great Step by Pro Mods. Could we get like a South American trucking simulator? Like maybe a Mexican map mod for truck sim. I think we've got the Canada map from Pro Mods, but I'd love to see Mexico in uh, truck sim. It's great to see Australia though. Maybe we can have a New Zealand uh, expansion pack for this map mod. I love how the traffic has been simulated. Seriously, all I can see is one truck really, really far away and that's it. Just me and him on this one road. Now, Outback truckers are often known for having road trains where they have two, three, maybe even four trailers hooked up to the back of their rig. If I do another video on this, perhaps I could do a road train. That'd be pretty fun. Maybe I could do a little series on this map. I'd love to hear what you think about the Outback map and if you think a video series would be cool. And of course, now that I have this Moser TSW truck wheel, I'm gonna be doing so much more truck sim content. I'll also be doing some bus sim content, like bus simulators. I don't think I've done enough of of the past like two, three years. I did it quite a lot when I started this channel six years ago, but uh, not much in the last two or three years. There are very few bends on this road. And when you come to one, you have to, well, you almost have to wake up because you, you got so used to driving along a perfectly straight road and then there's a bend in it. it. Actually throws you off surprisingly. Okay, over a, another little stream. And now we're approaching middle station. So I guess this is some kind of ranching station. They've probably got massive thousands of acres of ranch, um, like farmland. So it's going to be interesting to see what it looks like, how detailed it is. Mm, it looks pretty big. Let's slow down into eighth gear. There we go. What's got my rev counter? The, the Moza TS already has. It does have a rev counter. You just have to make sure you launch the game through the Moza launcher to get it to work. And it's kind of helpful for telling me when to change gear. So middle station. We are here over a castle grid. Oh yeah, look at this. It looks a little bit more lush here. They've kind of watered the plants, I think. Okay, what what is here? Is it a farm? Oh yeah, look, it is a farm. Just fly over and have a look. Look, there's a guy tending his cattle and what are they, what is this? Oh, they're gonna be loaded onto a truck. Right, interesting. Okay, so where is it going to ask us to park? We're going to do the tricky parking as always. If you have a steering wheel, I think it's a good idea to tr at least try it. Now, it doesn't seem too difficult here. We kind of have to park ourselves in between two trailers. In fact, why don't we try and go through the trailers? Let's try it. Okay. Again, using the knob. The knob is going to be very helpful here. Right, barbed wire fence to keep the cattle in, although there is a massive hole in it there. Right. And we've got to get really close to that and then round. Oh, that's, that's gone really badly. I don't think I should be going this way. Pulling it round, trying to get as close as possible to that one. And then line it up. I do not want to hit this black trailer here because it looks pretty so... Oh, we've hit it. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad. I think I should have just gone that way and just parked normally. Right, third person camera. What is going on here? I think we need to go full left like that and then just park normally. What am I thinking? Right, this looks a bit better. They have actually updated the dust uh, particle effects in American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck. I think they look pretty good. Let's change gear. We're kind of struggling to accelerate here. Okay, there we go. Oh, 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 it's because the wheel wasn't straight. Right. 
Here we go. Um, zoom in a bit. I think I can see the outline. We're not parking in a loading bay or anything. Lined up pretty well. The frozen meat. Is it frozen meat? No, frozen food. Okay, frozen food has arrived at its destination. Right, how much do we get paid for this? Okay, so that's 1,673 Australian dollars and we've leveled up to level three. Nice, let's get some long distance journeys and high value cargo. There you go. So we only traveled between here in Charleville to Middle Station. There's so much more to explore. I'd love to know what you think of this map. I'll of course leave all the links you need to download and check out the map in the description. We'd like to see a series on this. I'd be interested in doing one, so let me know. Thanks for watching. You might be interested in my Moser TSW truck wheel review. Click the video on screen right now if you want to see that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon with some more simulator adventures.